Kate from Ashfords and today I'm going to show you how to card fleece on your drum carter. First we will check the drive band is on the 6 to 1 ratio, the largest drum. This will give us more control while carding fleece. Make sure the pack of brush is right down into the teeth and the brush is almost touching the cloth. Tighten up both the knobs on the pack of brush. I'm going to be carding wash fleece which is a lot kinder to your carter. I like to card the fleece all the same way with the cut ends together. As the tips may still be a little stuck together, I'm going to use a flick carter to open them up. Just a gentle flick on each side will usually do the job. Carding is a lot like most other things. The more time you take in preparation, the better the end result will be. When I card, I like to put each staple in the same way, the cut end first. Spread the staple out and place on the feed-in tray, not too thick. Turn the handle clockwise, not too fast. Place more staples on and repeat. Keep the fleece between the guide pegs so it doesn't go onto the drum axles. Resist the temptation to hold on to the fibre as it goes in. This will only make the fibre wind around the small drum. Keep going until the drum is full. You can see when it's full as the wool will pop up above the teeth. Turn the drum so you can see the metal strip. Then using the dopper, nibble it off. Do small sections at a time, right across the drum. Loosen the packer brush and turn it up and out of the way. Pull the back down and back over the end of the drum carter. This way the fibre will be going the same direction as the teeth and will come off nicely. Then you're ready to spin or felt your bat. Or if you want to, you can put it through the carter again to get the finish that you want. When you're finished, use the cleaning brush to clean the drums and then clean the small drum. And that's how easy it is to card on your Ashford drum cutter. Happy card!